Chinese street opera first appeared in Singapore in the 1800s, along with an influx of Chinese immigrants who came to work on our shores. It combines music, singing, dialogue, acting, martial arts and acrobatics into a dramatic stage performance. Colourful masks that emphasise facial features are used to depict personas with different character traits such as courageous, malevolent or cunning. Chinese street opera was performed in Cantonese, Teochew and Hokkien dialects as the majority of the Chinese immigrants came from Fujian and Guangdong provinces. Originally staged on temple grounds to entertain the gods, they soon attracted large crowds and became popular cultural events as it was an inexpensive form of entertainment for humble Chinese immigrants during those early days. During the late 1800s, special indoor theatres were constructed mainly in Chinatown to accommodate Chinese street operas' burgeoning popularity. After the Japanese occupation came the golden age of cinema and the beginning of Chinese street operas' decline. By the 1970s, as Singapore's industrialization and urbanization accelerated, the staging of Chinese street opera performances was confined to designated sites to minimize noise and public disturbance. Another catalyst for the decline was the government's attempt to replace Chinese dialects with Mandarin as one of the official languages. Despite surviving the impact of rapid modernization, Chinese street opera has diminished in popularity significantly. This can be attributed to the lack of interest from younger generations of Singaporeans and the aging of Chinese opera pioneers and stalwarts. Today, only about 10 professional street opera troops remain in Singapore. In recent years, the government and various community associations have stepped up their efforts to preserve and promote this piece of Singapore's cultural history. Associations like Namhua Opera, Traditional Art Center and Chinese Theatre Circle provide performance opportunities and workshops for the next generation of performers. Local troops are also adapting or writing original scripts to attract more people. And increasingly, technology is used to attract a wider audience by engaging non-dialect speaking groups with English and Chinese subtitles on screens and streaming of live performances online, as well as offering 360 virtual reality backstage tours so people can see how the preparation process works. The revival of local amateur troops and the arrival of visiting troops from the region have also led to a resurgence of performances. Chinese street opera is an integral part of our cultural heritage and identity. It is our responsibility to preserve it for future generations to appreciate and enjoy.